The film begins and we hear a voice. We were given life billions of years ago. So what did we do with it? Now we are shown a girl named Lucy who was standing with her friend. He shows her a bag and says that you have to go inside that hotel and give it to a man. In return we will get $1,000. Lucy says that in such a small amount I will not do this. When Lucy refuses him, he ties that suitcase with a handcuff on Lucy's hand and tells her to go inside. Now she has to listen to her friend. She had come inside the hotel. She comes to the reception and asks about the man, whose name was Mr. J. At that time some people come there, who shoot Lucy's friend at the door of the hotel. They caught Lucy and brought her to a hotel room. Mr. Jang comes there. His hands were full of blood. He comes and washes his hands and asks Lucy, tell me what is in this suitcase. Lucy was scared to see him and starts crying. She says that I don't know what is in it. Only my friend had asked me to give you this suitcase. Now he hides by telling the code of that suitcase and asks Lucy to open it. She asks what is in it. Is it a bomb? Mr. Jang says that it is possible. I don't trust your friend at all. He can do anything. Lucy was very scared. She refuses to open it. When Mr. Jang's men shoot her, she gets scared and says wait, 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 I will open it. Now when she opens the suitcase with the code, she gets four packets of blue color. It was some kind of substance. To test that substance, Mr. Jang's men bring a man. When he smells that substance, he starts acting. And he was laughing loudly. Mr. Jang doesn't like that man at all. He kills him in front of Lucy with a bullet. Now Mr. Jang says to Lucy that I want to give you a job. Lucy says no. I don't want to do any job. Let me go from here. Then Mr. Jang's men hit Lucy hard. She fainted. Then we see a professor. In his lecture, he was telling everyone that every animal on earth can use only 3% of their brain. But humans are the most advanced in these things. They use 10% of their brain. But dolphins are more advanced than human. They use 20% of their brain. That means they are more intelligent than human. But the professor says that if a human uses 20% of his brain, then he can completely control his body. And if a human's brain starts working up to 40%, then he can control the person in front of him. A boy sitting in the audience asks, Sir, what will happen if a human uses 100% of his brain? The professor says that he doesn't even know what will happen then. When Lucy regains consciousness, she had bandages on her stomach, and she was in pain. She thinks that these people have taken out a part of her body. When she starts going out, some people come there. They take her with them. They bring her in front of Jang. Lucy asks them what they did to her. Tell me. Then a doctor says, don't worry, we didn't do anything to you. We just cut your stomach and put a packet of substances in it. Now three more people are brought there. The same substance was kept in their stomach. Actually, these four had to deliver this substance at different places. And if any of them tried to move forward, then their families will be killed. Jang's men put a cloth on their faces and take them away. After that Lucy finds herself in a closed room, where there was a man for whom Lucy had brought that substance. But he tries to misbehave with her. When she refuses him, that man started beating Lucy. He drops her down and beats her in her stomach. Because of this, the packet in Lucy's stomach break, and the substance was in her blood. Because the substance was in her blood, Lucy's body started feeling weird. She starts suffering and her body was floating in the air. When she regains consciousness, Lucy becomes normal. She was not the same Lucy before. When that man comes to her again, who was trying to misbehave with her before, now she beats him a lot. And she came out of that play. She comes out and kills all the people sitting there. In this fight, Lucy was also shot. But she easily takes that bullet out of her body. It looked as if she didn't feel any pain. Now Lucy comes out of that play and kills some more people with her gun. And then she takes a taxi to the hospital, where some doctors were operating a patient. When she sees the patient's brain on the screen, after which she kills him. And she tells the doctor that this man was going to die. But how did Lucy know that he was going to die? 
Maybe it was the effect of that substance. And his brain was working 20% now. She puts a gun on the doctor and says that there is a packet of substance in my stomach. Do my operation quickly and take the substance out. The doctor gets scared when he sees the gun. He had no other option but to listen to Lucy. After which Lucy calls her mom. And she says that mom. I can feel everything. This wind, the sound of the ground, the sound inside me, everything. I even remember all the things of my childhood, how I grew up. Lucy started crying while talking to her mom. And she thanks her for giving her so much love. The doctor now does her operation. He had taken out a packet from her stomach. That so much of CPH4 substance in such a small amount. The doctor was surprised and worried. That if this substance has been added to Lucy's body. Then how is she still alive? Lucy says to the doctor that I can't stay alive for long. She now gets well and goes back to Jang. And she kills all his men one by one. After that she goes to Jang and kills the knife in both his hand, and asks him to tell me where are the other men, in whose stomach you had kept the substance. But when Jank doesn't answer him, then his brain starts working, by which Lucy came to know about the location of those men, where they were sent. Actually Lucy's brain was working more than the limit, because of that substance. She could even see how trees grow from the ground and how they eat their food. Now Lucy goes to her friend's house, where she uses her laptop to find out about that professor, whom we saw in the beginning of the story, the one who was giving a lecture on the brain. His name was Samuel. He was doing research on the human brain for the last 20 years. She finds out everything about him and calls him. Lucy tells him that I have read 7,000 pages on your website. I have read all the research which I remember by tongue. But Professor Samuel didn't believe her. The next moment Lucy is on Professor Samuel's TV screen. Because she had used 28% of her brain. Now she could control all the electronic things. Lucy tells him that whatever you have written in your research. Everything is correct. I have a lot of things in my mind. What should I do with them? I know a lot of things, so Professor Samuel says. Then you should tell all this to other people. Lucy wanted to meet Professor Samuel. First of all she changes her base and goes to the airport, where she meets the men, who had the substances in their stomach. She tells this to the police. And also she had sent their pictures on their screen. After which the police starts their work, and catches those people. Lucy had used 40% of her brain. The cells in her body start breaking, and her skin was burning. She hides from everyone and locks herself in the washroom. And she started taking the packet of substances. After eating it she becomes unconscious. When she regains consciousness she finds herself in the hospital. Now she was able to use 50% of her brain. The police comes there who had come to arrest Lucy. But Lucy uses her power. She had made all the police there unconscious. As Professor Samuel had said. That when a person uses more than 40% of his brain, then he can control others. And the same was happening with Lucy. The reason was that as she was increasing the amount of substances in her body, her brain was able to work as much as possible. Those people who were caught are taken to the hospital, so that the substances can be taken out of their stomach. Lucy also goes to the hospital with the inspector. We can see that Lucy's brain power had increased so much that now she was able to listen to the phone calls of the entire city. That's when she finds out that the people of Jane have also reached the hospital. Lucy also reaches the hospital quickly. The people of Jane were already present there. They stand there with their gun, but they can't stay in front of Lucy for long. She blows them away like a chopper in the air, and their weapons were stuck on the roof like a magnet. She removes every person who comes in front of her who go to the wall, and there were holes in the wall too. Lucy now takes that bag from them, which had the substances that she had taken from the doctor. She also tells the inspector to come with her. After seeing all that she had seen, he says to Lucy, that I don't think you will need my help anymore. She comes to the inspector and says, you are like a reminder for me, which I always want to remember. Come on, come with me. Now Lucy goes to meet Professor Samuel, but Jane had seen her going, he too now follows her with his men. At the same time, we see Professor Samuel, who had called all those doctors and professors, who were experts in their research. Now Lucy had also come there, 
Professor Samuel introduces everyone to Lucy. Everyone was quite surprised to me, but a professor had a doubt on Lucy. She also tells him about her. She says that when your daughter was six years old, then her death was due to a car accident. He was surprised to hear this, because no one knew about it till today. And because of this, everyone started believing in Lucy. She starts giving information to everyone there about which she knew everything. She also starts changing mutants in her body. Sometimes her hand was dangerous like a witch. And sometimes she was changing one hand into two. Everyone was surprised to see this. Lucy says that we have always been taught that one plus one is two. Actually, there are no numbers. These numbers are made by humans to explain themselves, so that they can understand things easily. Professor Samuel says, that if the world does not work on mathematics, then how does it work? Lucy explains to him that there is a car, which is driving very fast, and while driving, it started driving so fast, that it was not visible. It will not be visible but it must be driving. Actually, only time is important. Time. Without time, we do not exist. That is why Jane and her people come there. They surrounded the building from all sides. Inspector Lucy says that we will not be able to stop them for long. Lucy now puts the drips of MPH4 substance in her body, which she brought from the hospital. The professor knew that after taking such a high dose of substances, Lucy will not be able to survive. Lucy also knew this. But now she was ready to sacrifice herself. She uses 70% of her brain. After that, she uses all the metals and energy in the room, and makes a very big computer, in which she was going to store all her information. And then she uses 80% of her brain, to make a computer, which could store such knowledge. Lucy uses her brain to such an extent, that she reached the other part of time. That means she could travel in time. After that, she goes back thousands of years, and reaches the dinosaur on the ground. When she goes back a little more than that time, then she reached the time, when there was no human existence. Only a few humans were there, but that too is animal. Now Lucy comes back, as she was using her brain. Her body was disappearing. When she uses 99% of her brain, then she reaches the sky at the time. When this part of the earth was formed, now Jane had also come there. Before that, he killed Lucy. She used 100% of her brain and disappeared. The inspector comes there who had killed Jane. Lucy comes to the professor and gives a pen drive, in which she had stored all the data of her brain. The inspector asks Lucy, where are you? Then a message comes on her phone. I am everywhere. At the end of the story, we hear the same voice, which we heard in the beginning of the story, that we were given life billions of years ago. But what did we do with it? What did we understand about our life? We have been given a very advanced computer, and that is our brain. But we use our body to earn money. But only a few people can understand their brain. With this, the story of this movie ends here.